Hi, I'm Elliot Miller and welcome to this video tutorial from Dacast. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Adobe Flash Media Live Encoder, or FMLE for short. It's a free, really simple, quick and easy to use live encoding software. However, Adobe have said that there are going to be no future updates for FMLE. What this means is the next time there's a Windows update or a new Mac OS, FMLE could just stop working and that's going to be the end of its legacy. Why are they doing this? Well, quite simply, live video streaming isn't a big business for Adobe and there are lots of other free open source encoding softwares like OBS out there that are now doing a, a better job in the free market for encoding softwares. So FMLE could be around for another month, it could be around for another 10 years, who knows. But I think it's still a really nice tool to use for trying out your ideas when you're first streaming because it's really easy to pick up and it's great for just testing your live stream because it launches very quickly, it's really simple and basic, it doesn't have the slow startup time that other encoders have. So it's really good for just checking that everything works. All right, so let's get into it by setting up our video. Currently it's set to my laptop's web camera. I'm going to change it to the web camera I have plugged in by USB. And that's gonna take a little moment to reload there. And now you can see the video quality has improved. And the video format we want is H.264, so that's fine. The frame rate's at 30, also fine. We can increase that if we wanted to though. As for the input size, well, I know this web camera is capable of 1280 by 720, which is a nice higher resolution. As you can see, it automatically kind of fills the FMLE screen with that size. So I'm going to go to this drop down menu and just make it a little bit smaller so it fits comfortably on my monitor. Now that we've done that, I can also add multiple bit rates if I want to. Currently, our bit rate is a 650 kilobytes and the output size matches the input size. That's great. I'm gonna add one at a lower bit rate of 350 kilobytes per second. And a really nice feature of FMLE, which I wish other encoders had, is it does all the maths and tells you what the total bit rate you need to do your broadcast actually is. This would be a great feature in other encoders. I really wish they had it around more often. And it's a reason why FMLE is great when you're starting out to go, Hey, yeah, audio is part of my broadcast as well, and that's gonna change how much bandwidth I need to be able to do my live video streaming. Speaking of audio, here is where we can change our microphones. I'm currently using a microphone plugged into my Zoom H4 recording unit, but I'm not gonna select that as that will create audio problems with the software that I'm using to record this tutorial. Now for Audio formats, we can only choose MP3, and sadly this is a limitation of FMLE. Uh, MP3 is a great audio codec, not really uh, any problems with it, but if we want to get good coverage across the mobile live streaming spectrum, we want to use AAC as our video codec, and that's not an option in FMLE, so sadly that means it's not as good for broadcasting to mobile audiences. Now we want to change our channels to stereo. Our sample rate is as high as it can be. I don't know why changing the audio to stereo just reset the web camera there, that's a bit odd. And we can increase the bit rate if we want to as well. And again, it's gonna do the maths and tell me the total bit rate, uh, sorry, bandwidth that I'll need for my live video broadcast. And that's all there is to it. It's, uh, that's all you can do with FMLE. It's really basic streamlined service. Uh, there are plugins you can get for doing things like monitor captures, but uh, that's uh, not built into the core of FMLE. And there are other free services you can use for that, like Adobe, um, like OBS. Great, so now that we've set up our broadcast, we're going to uh, set up our connection as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our DACAST channel, and we've an encoder set up in our channel. I'm going to set my publishing point to the nearest server to me, and I'm gonna set the bit rate and resolution to that of my broadcast. Now, while I've set up multi-bit rate streaming here, 
in FMLE, I need to do it again in my encoder setup. So I'm going to click the plus sign and add another channel at 350 kilobytes. And we're going to go to the next step. I'm going to click Flash Media Live Encoder. And that is going to give the information I need to set up my connection, which is my XML profile and my login and password. So now I can download my XML profile to my computer, make sure you know where it gets saved to. And once that's done, I'm going to go back into FMLE, go to File, Open Profile, and I'm going to find my file. Now for some reason setting up my connection has undone everything that I did to set up my video. So I did this deliberately to show you connect first and then do your video and audio setup. So give me one moment while I quickly put that back. Great, so now I've got my broadcast set up back to the way I want it. And I'm going to click connect. And this is going to prompt me for the login and password that was displayed on my DACAS encoder setup. Now as a final precaution, I can click save to file. A nice thing about this is that if there's an interruption with my broadcast and my live stream drops for a moment, I'll still have a recording of my broadcast recorded directly onto my computer as a hard copy in case anything goes wrong. So I recommend doing that. And if you click browse, you can change uh, where that is saved to, limit by size and limit by the duration of the video as well, if you're short on space to be saving broadcasts. Great, so now that I've done that, I'm going to click start. And it's gonna take a moment, but that's going to begin my live video broadcast. And there we go. We're already broadcasting, and you can see the input screen on the left side here it has a slight delay to the uh, output broadcast that's going out there. So this is real time what is being broadcast. And you can see again why I said uh, FMLE is still a really great tool for testing your live stream because you get a full encoding log and you get to see all of the data of the bit rates and frame rates going on here. So it's a really nice little tool for that. If you're interested in seeing more tutorial content, let us know what questions we can solve for you and leave your suggestions in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching and happy streaming.